basically just going to try to make a, a tutorial for <laughs> basic stars. So, as you can see, I've already got one done here. So, we're just going to kind of use that as a reference. So, you, you can use any image as a reference. I just like to use the crossed star at first. It's easier to make sure that it's like symmetrical and everything, that you're not screwing it up. So, this is in Krita. Right now I'm using the line tool. You can also use this one, the, uh, I think, polygon one. So, to start, you just make a line. Make sure it's an even distance, so I'm just trying to line it up. So, go with 500 pixels. Yeah, come on. This is the almost hardest part, is you're trying to line it up with everything, keep it even. There we go. Okay, 500 pixels. And Pixel brush size, just whatever you need it to be when you're making one. Um, okay. And then go to the middle of this line. So, should be right here. Looks like it. If it's not, we can fix that later. So, I'm gonna go up about a half. Yeah, probably right there. Okay. So you get lined up. There we go. And then we're going to cross the line and go four in, basically. So one, two, three, four, probably drop it one. You do have to do some eye judging. So I'm going to drop it about here. Let's align it up again. There we go. Alright. And copy that on the other side. Drag it down. One, two, three, four. Bring it down. And then from here, it's actually pretty easy, because you just drag across, drag across. So, up here, to the end of it. And then, end of it. Again. There we go. So you can tell it's a little bit tall there. So all I'm going to do to correct that is make a new layer. Because it looks a little bit too tall, bring it down two for this one. Again, you have to eye judge it a little bit. And then just retrace it. And for this, it might be easier to use the polygon tool, or polyline, sorry. Just because you can continuously click and drag, click and drag. So I'll actually do that here. Erase that. Fixer. Click it, drag it all the way down. Like I said, this is almost the hardest part is lining it up again. Cr 
across, down. up and top. I always try to line it up here because I don't know if it auto-corrects. And then hide that layer. So that looks a little, I think that looks a little bit better. It's more accurate. But that's the general idea how to make a star. And then you can enlarge the baseline that you use. So this one's probably three or four squares larger. And it's always helpful to use a grid. I <laughs> very much like the grid. It's extremely helpful. But that will give you a general shape. And then if you want to, what you can do to get rid of this part in the middle is just make a new layer and only trace the edge. So this part's definitely going to use eye judging. So I'll just get it at about middle of every line. Again. there, down to the corner, always try to line it up so it doesn't look super wonky, and I mean you can make it pixel perfect zooming in, just right now I'm not going to, for speed's sake. Middle, corner, Middle again, corner again, middle, there might be a better way to do, figure out the middle on that, and then line it up, hide the layer, and you've got a normal star. So. That's just a couple ways to make a star if you need to. And then you can put it into like tattoos or anything like that simply by removing the background. So you unlock it and create a and hit remove layer. Can't right now because lock. And then transparent background. That way you can copy it. And the way you the way you copy it to another file, so this is the layer we want. Copy layer, add a new file, create new, and then right click your layer and paste it. And it'll move completely over. And then that way you can import it to drawings that you want to. It's pretty quick. I like it. Yep, yeah, that's how you make a star for Creative.